Hey. Look at me. Sure. Look at me. Sure. I'm the mother now. Well, Alien Day 2021 has come and gone. Now, if you're just now tuning in, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, there's an Alien Day? Well, I'm glad you asked. Alien Day happens every year on April 26th. Why April 26th? Well, in the first Alien film, the crew of the Nostromo visits the planetoid LV-426. And this is where they first encounter the horrific endoparasitic alien organism known as Xenomorph XX121, which coincidentally is also my username on OnlyFans. Alien Day was meant to capitalize on the popularity of May the 4th, which celebrates Star Wars, of course. But unfortunately, May the 4th Be With You has attained meme tier status, which puts it a few notches above Alien Day. So guys, come on. If we really want to make Alien Day 2022 a success, we really got to step up our meme game here. I mean, for God's sake, there's like 25,000 Star Wars shows coming out on Disney Plus, and there's only one Alien show. And God knows I want to get that alternate universe legal drama where Brett is suing Dallas for not reimbursing him over his pen. Another cool thing that we do on Alien Day here at Studio Utani is that we hold a contest for our followers in which we give out some really cool alien-themed prizes. And the winners this year are going to be announced at the end of this video. <laughs> because the other thing that Alien Day is known for is for the release of some officially licensed alien-themed products. And this being a video designed to commemorate Alien Day 2021, we kind of got to talk about those, right? One of the first items that we got were these nifty line of Super 7 alien toys. Now, these aren't the polished, movie-accurate ones that you come to expect from brands like uh, NECA. These are your older brother's alien toys that were made from hard plastic and fine lead-based paint. In all seriousness, I actually kind of like these. There's an old fashioned charm to them, you know, especially for older fans of the series. And frankly, I think it's about high time that the newborn got the love that it's always wanted and, if I may be so bold, always deserved. Look, it thinks you're its mother. Now, the next item that we got comes from everybody's favorite company, GameStop. It's a figure of Ripley in the power loader from the end of Aliens. Now, I've never got into these Funko Pop things. Uh, I've, uh, I've been tempted to pick up one on, on more than one occasion, but uh, I honestly have uh, I've resisted that impulse. They're, they're, they're neat little collectibles, they're, and they're cute and everything, but yeah, I, I don't know. But if you had the Alien Queen Funko Pop figure, um, this makes a nice uh, companion piece to that. So if you can get your hands on one, you know, by all means. And yes, Way to Workshop did release a series of mini epics, including this one, which gives me some serious, what? No, of course I didn't steal anything from the cookie jar vibes. All right, alien, 
you win this time. Oh, and don't worry about the severed head. It can't feel any pain because, as we know, it's just a piece of plastic. Mondo, famous for their uh, artistic posters, released this Japanese manga-inspired one for Alien Day. I don't know. It's cool. Dig it. How, how do you pronounce that? La Femme and Noir? I'm French! French company released a line of clothing that's themed after Alien. It's honestly probably a good thing that they put the Alien label above this because at first glance, I thought this was a promo for another one of those DC Arrowverse shows. Um, in seriousness, I don't dislike these, but I'm not one to talk about fashion. I dress like my idea of somebody cool in 1995. Another thing for those who use Epic Game Store for their gaming needs, Alien Isolation was available uh, for sale along with the DLC Last Survivor. Justin and I are um, doing a series, or Justin, who um, doesn't really play a whole lot of video games, we're having him, we're having him play uh, through Alien Isolation and you know, so far it's it's been pretty fun. The first episode will be up soon. Uh, we can show you a teaser here, and this is the part where we would show the teaser. Just to remind you, you are not in danger yet, so don't don't be too scared. I'm ready to start shooting aliens. <laughs> well, that's, that's not, not what you're supposed to th do. That strategy is not going to work out for you. Uh oh. How did she see you so easily? There's nothing for you out here. I'm not gonna get shot. There's gotta be a vent. Get your cardio in. It's an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? If only you could see the look on Justin's face right now, guys. Well, I don't need to tell you the alien is uh, is now active. <laughs> How did I not just die? I told you we needed to have a camera for the show. He's <laughs> going back down. <laughs> what? Oh, no. I thought I got away when he went through the damn wall. They're coming out of the damn walls. <laughs> and speaking of video games, we have the, of course, Aliens Fire Team coming out. And on Alien Day, we got a torrent of images from the game showcasing all sorts of crazy new terrifying monsters and weapons for us to blow them up with but the thing that's really exciting to me and really interesting to me is the reveal that we're going to be revisiting the prometheus alien covenant side of the alien universe and there's going to be some locations that take place in like an engineer temple i wasn't expecting that from a game with the Aliens brand, but it shows that we can break past labels and we can truly bring all the different sides of this universe together and we can get along. I think if we are kind, it will be a kind world. And finally, and in probably the biggest piece of news is that the original alien prototype costume designed by H.R. Giger himself, designed to be worn by actor uh, Bola y Badejo, I think I'm pronouncing it. Tell me how wrong I am in the comments. It was put up for auction and I, I don't know how much it sold for, but I think it was somewhere between 40 and $60,000. Um, steep price tag, but it's, it's a priceless relic of cinema you know it's got some wear on it it's you know there's parts that have fallen off but film props and costumes uh, they're designed to look good they're not designed to last forever so you, honestly whoever was keeping it they did a pretty good job of keeping it up well um, for what it is so good on the guy that uh that picked that off and now the part you've all been waiting for announcing the contest winners now, I'm just reading these off. I was not the person responsible for arranging this contest, and I'm uh, not sure what the parameters of this contest were, but it is my official duty as mother to deliver the results. And the results are, uh, first off, at the mystery prize, you got Norberto Cordova. So congratulations there. With another mystery prize, we got Andrea Berth. Birth, birth, what? 
Okay, so I just looked this up. It's actually Bertolu. I think it's French. So we French fellows out with you a second time. Uh, but anyway, you also got a mystery prize. Uh, what is the mystery prize? Um, you're going to have to ask uh, Norberto and Andrea. For the international prize, Liam Sharp, you want a poster designed by Tristan Jones known for his art for the Aliens Dark Horse comic series. This piece entitled, They're Coming Out of the Walls. So congratulations on that. Ray Chung, you won a copy of Alien Into Charybdis by Alex White. Uh, good read, uh, especially if you've read uh, The Cold Forge before it. Uh, gives it much more of a punch. You can check out my uh, interview with Alex White on this channel. Uh, I'll figure out how to put a link somewhere here. Lash Sellers, you won a uh, alien RPG map, and I presume that that's uh, the map uh, to the middle heaven. So that's pretty cool that you got that. That way you'll never get lost in space. Dan Bogd. Well, you also got a copy of Alien Into Charybdis, so congratulations there. For another mystery prize, uh, uh, Arnold de Bruni, uh, congratulations on uh, your mystery prize. I, uh, I trust it's something good. Uh, Arne Kustermans, um, you've also got the mystery prize. Um, whatever these mystery prizes are, um, well, you know, who can say? Uh, Devin Burden, you also got an alien RPG map. Cool. Congrats there. And uh, one last copy of Alien Into Charybdis went to Xander Rayleigh. Uh, so congratulations on the contest. Uh, thank you for participating. And uh, we'll, uh, I'm sure we're going to uh, continue it next year. So that concludes the Studio Utani Alien Day 2021 hist history retrospective commemorative video. If you like this video, why don't you go ahead and show it and give it a like down below. And if you've enjoyed this content and found it interesting or entertaining, consider hitting that subscribe button. And maybe, just maybe, you'll get to see that OnlyFans. I'm Matt Jarjoza, last survivor of the Studio Utani podcast. Signing off.